morning children today we will talk about cell organelles what are cell organelles like human being human being has several internal organs that do several functions inside the body in the same way cell has different internal organs or we can say it has different little organs that perform different functions for the body or for the cell most part of a cell it has a definite shape definite structure and a definite function such parts are called organelles now a cell is it is mainly consist of three essential part cell membrane which is also known as plasma membrane nucleus and cytoplasm now the cellular components they are also called the cell organelles these cell organelles are membrane bound and there are few which do not have membrane around them they present within the cells and distinct in their structures and functions they all have different functions and different structure they coordinate with their functions efficiently for the normal normal functioning of the cell few of them functions providing shape and support whereas some are involved in the locomotion reproduction etc now here in this slide i have given a picture the image of a cell you can see that i here i have labeled all type of cell organelles here we have ribosome rough and endoplasmic reticulum nucleus nucleolus chromatin Gol golgi apparatus golgi vesicle cytoplasm vacuole and all other cell organelles now in this session we will be doing that what are the functions of these cell organelles and in our scope also we have to do only the functions of cell organelles so let's proceed toward the first slide now this is the first slide regarding the function of cell organelle now first of all we will take the cell membrane cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane it is the outermost membrane in animal cells and in the plant cell it lies next to the cell wall and it is semi permeable if i say semi permeable i mean to say that it does not allow the entry of all types of particles inside and outside the cell so that's why we say semi permeable it allows only few particles or minerals to go inside and come outside of a cell and it is a double membrane which is composed of lipids and proteins it is present both in animal and plant cell now what are the functions of the cell membrane it provides shape to the to the cell it protects the inner organelle of the cell and also it acts as a selectively permeable membrane or semi permeable membrane it also regulates the entry of certain solutes and ion since it is a semi permeable membrane now our next organelle is cell wall now cell wall is only present in plant cells it is not present in animal cells it is only present in plant cells now it is non living layer which surrounds the plasma membrane that means it is a non living layer which surrounds the cell membrane and it is composed of cellulose and it is freely permeable now here if i say it is freely permeable what do i mean to say that it allows all type of particles to go inside and to come outside of the cell that's why we say it is freely permeable now it gives what are the functions of the cell wall it gives rigidity and shape to the plant cell it provides protection and allows the substances to move inside and outside of a cell freely since it is a freely permeable membrane now next is cytoplasm now all the parts inside the cell inside the plasma membrane all the parts together inside the plasma membrane excluding nucleus 
please note this i said all the parts together inside the plasma membrane excluding nucleus is cytoplasm so it is a jelly like substance which consists of water dissolved nutrients and waste products of the cell and this cytoplasm is responsible for cells metabolic activities and also earlier steps of respiration occurs in this cytoplasm so these are the function of these three cell organelles let's proceed to the next slide now our next cell organelle is lysosomes now these are very tiny circular shaped single membrane bound organelles filled with digestive enzymes and they help in the digestion and they remove all the waste and digest dead and damaged cells whenever any cell okay whenever any part inside the cell it is dead or injured or even whenever a cell is old or injured these rapidly destroy those all organelles or cells so that's why we call them suicidal bags that's why we call them suicidal bags they also help in the formation of bones by digesting cartilages now next is mitochondria now mitochondria is an oval shaped membrane bound organelle which is also called the power house of the cell now why do we say that it is the power house of a cell because it helps in the release of energy in the form of atp and it is having double wall okay it is having double wall and inner wall it is having folds you can see here in the diagram also that it is having folds we call them cristae what do we call them we call them cristae and they have their own dna also their own ribosomes okay so this is one of the organelle of the cell which is having its own dna and also their own ribosomes and they help what is the function they help in the release of energy in the form of atp so we also call it the power house of cell and also it helps in the synthesis of respiratory enzymes now next is nucleus this is the largest one of the largest cell organelle and it is mostly spherical and dense and the nuclear membrane around the nucleus it is having pores which allows the substance to enter and leave and it contains the thread like structure which is known as chromatin fibers which contain dna so what is nucleus it is the largest double membrane bound organelle which contains all the cells genetic information and what is its function it regulates the cell function cell division and it also controls the hereditary characters okay and if the cell this this part of the cell that is nucleus will die then the cell will die because actually it is the control center of the cell it controls all the activities of the cell and also it contains chromosomes those do and what are chromosomes they are the they are the genes bearers that control hereditary characters so this is all about now next is nucleolus this nucleolus it is present inside the nucleus here you can see the diagram it is the diagram of the nucleus you can see here a circular or spherical shaped structure which is known as nucleolus it is round shaped nuclei inside the nucleus and what is its function it produces ribosomes it participate in protein synthesis by forming and storing rna what is rna that is ribonucleic acid so by forming rna it participate in protein synthesis now next is chromatin fibers what are chromatin fibers these are condensed form of chromosome okay now these chromatin fibers are the thread like structure that are present inside the nucleus when they condense they form chromosomes okay during the cell division they condense and they form chromosomes 
and they are made up of dna threads and they are present inside the nucleus so i i just i just want to repeat it again whenever during the cell division these chromatin fibers they get condensed they form chromosomes and the chromosome contains the dna and dna contains what are dna dna is a dna contains genes that is the hereditary characters it contains genes that control hereditary characters so what is the function of these chromatin fiber it is very obvious that it carry hereditary information or the genes now next organelle is centrosome now the centrosome it is composed of centroids and it is only found in the animal cell it is only found in the animal cell and uh, a region surrounding the centroids it is very look it is located very near to the nucleus okay and the centroids they are surrounded by radiating microtubules to form a star during cell division when we will do the cell division chapter there we will learn about the ester formation there you will see that they are the centroids they are surrounded by radiating microtubules to form a star or ester during cell division now what is the function of these centrosomes they play a major role in organizing the microtubule and cell division so this is all about these three now in the next slide learn about our next three now the next is granules now what are these granules these are very small particles or droplets scattered in the cytoplasm and what are their function they contain food materials like starch glycogen and starch is where where do we find starch we find starch in plants and glycogen in animals or also uh, we can say that they uh, they uh, we have fat containing granules also that serve as food for the cell okay we have fat containing granules that serve as a food for the cell itself now our next one is endoplasmic reticulum now this one is very very important one of the most important organelle that is endoplasmic reticulum it is irregular network of tubular double membrane okay it is an irregular network of tubular double membrane or we can say it is a network of membranous tubules which is present within the cytoplasm of a cell and what is its function it forms the skeletal framework of the cell okay and it also involved in the detoxification and it it is involved in the production of lipids and also proteins and the main function of the endoplasmic reticulum is uh, the production of proteins the next is golgi apparatus it is a membrane bound sac like organelle which is present sac like organelle a bag like organelle uh, which is present within the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cells they are not present in the prokaryotic cells they are present within the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cells and they are mainly involved in the secretion and intracellular transport secretion of what they are involved in the synthesis and secretion of enzymes and hormones etc and also there is one more, one very main function of uh, golgi apparatus that is it also helps in the formation of acrosome of sperm and acrosome of sperm is the head portion of the sperm now in this slide we will talk about the next three cell organelles that is plastids ribosomes and vacuoles now plastids they are only present in the plant cell they are not present in the animal cell they are double membrane bound organelles and they are of three types leucoplast chromoplast and chloroplast these are the three plastids which are present in the plant cell now what is the function of the chromoplast chromoplast impart color to flowers and fruits like xanthophyll xanthophyll give yellow color and keratin give orange or red color now leucoplast it stores starch 
and what about chloroplast as we all know that they trap solar energy or sun's energy for the process of photosynthesis so these all they help in the process of photosynthesis pollination imparts color for leaves flowers and fruits and stores starch proteins and fats also now next let's talk about the ribosome ribosome is a non membrane organelle non membrane means it is not membrane bound it doesn't have a membrane around it and it found it found floating freely in the cell cytoplasm or sometimes it is embedded within the endoplasmic reticulum and when we found it embedded with the endoplasmic reticulum we call endoplasmic reticulum as a rough endoplasmic reticulum and if there is no ribosome which is attached with the endoplasmic reticulum then we call it as smooth endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum is only known as rough endoplasmic reticulum if ribosomes are attached with it and now what is the function of the ribosome it is involved in the synthesis of proteins now next is vacuoles now vacuoles they are very large in plant cell but in animal cells either they are not present if they are present they are very very small and the vacuole it is a membrane bound organelle and a fluid filled organelle which is found within the cytoplasm and it provides shape and rigidity to the plant cell and it also helps in the digestion excretion and storage of substances so that is all about uh, the cell membranes or the cell organelles cell wall cell so that's all about today's session we will meet soon with the next session and i'll be teaching you plant and animal cell till then kindly learn the functions nicely have a nice day thank you